Commissioner George Phoenix opened the Saginaw Zoo in 1929 with a small collection of animals, including two bear cubs, a seven-foot alligator, and a dream to someday provide more to the community. Over the next year, the city of Saginaw allowed the corner of Ezra Rust Park to be turned into a small zoo of local wildlife and expanded with a beaver, coyote, fox, raccoons, timber wolves, owls, hawks, and deer. For the next 31 years, O. John Pierce served as the zookeeper. By the end of 1958, all the animals were gone and most of the zoo was torn down. The city council considered rebuilding, but it came at a heavy cost. The zoo remained closed for eight years during these hard times. In 1966, the city council agreed to reopen the Saginaw Zoo after a committee raised over $120,000 so construction could begin. And in 1967, the zoo was able to reopen the gates with winding footpaths, a concrete dolphin, and a new miniature train named for Dr. Carl Ibershoff, the donor who made purchasing the train possible. A concrete whale, which housed an aquarium, was built to sit on the banks of the wetlands. It was badly damaged by a storm, which led to complications that prevented it from being fully repaired and was removed in the 90s. In 1996, the zoo was under new management. The Saginaw Valley Zoological Society, which was formed by local community members, donors, and lovers of the zoo, took over the organization from the city of Saginaw. Led by the society, the zoo constructed the Awareness Amphitheater, the Celebration Square Carousel, and more. The Saginaw Zoo became the Children's Zoo at Celebration Square and had some adorable new residents including African penguins and cotton-top tamarinds in the early 2000s. We put Saginaw back into the zoo in 2017 because we wanted to be called what everyone already knows us by. The Saginaw Children's Zoo has come a long way in its history, and it has a long way to go. As an accredited facility by the Association of Zoos and Aquariums, the Saginaw Children's Zoo can make a global impact. AZA accreditation means that we put our best foot forward in the name of animal care and service to our visitors. This high standard is met only by an average of 10% of all zoos and aquariums around the world. Not only does accreditation mean that our animals benefit from amazing care, but the members of the Saginaw Children's Zoo have great reciprocal benefits, receiving free or half-off admission to other AZA zoos and aquariums internationally and across the United States. Through accreditation, the Saginaw Children's Zoo can participate in the Species Survival Plan Program, or SSPs, which helps enhance conservation of certain at-risk animals in the wild through regulated population management. This breeding program for almost 500 species identifies recommendations and management goals to ensure the sustainability of a healthy, genetically diverse, and demographically varied AZA population. This program includes the zoo's resident cotton-top tamarinds, African penguins, North American river otters, black-footed cats, white-throated capuchins, Mexican gray wolves, and Bennett's wallabies. This little zoo makes a big impact. While the Saginaw Children's Zoo prides itself on its animals, it also creates hands-on learning experiences in the heart of the Great Lakes Bay region, where kids can get out, get messy, and get connected with nature. The zoo offers Family Nature Club and Backyard Biology, which are free monthly programs that are open to families and children of all ages to get in touch with the plant and animal friends in their own community. In the off-season months, Living Learning Lab is in session as a unique educational experience for third-grade students that exceeds Michigan standards in core subjects including science and language arts. During the summer, zoo campers and hatchlings spend their days with guided educational experiences to have fun in the sun while exploring the zoo. Did you know that the Saginaw Children's Zoo is invested in local conservation efforts? Through projects in the community such as wildlife monitoring, river and highway cleanups, and more, the zoo helps educate the public of how to make eco-friendly choices at home that can make a global impact. With all the support the Saginaw Children's Zoo has received, we are giving back to the community. 
During the season, several days are set aside to give free admission to community members, including seniors, military families, first responders, and disabled individuals and their families. On Independence Day, we draw quite a crowd with free admission for Saginaw County residents to say thank you for supporting the zoo. We also want our community to grow. Through this discount program, students at participating schools who qualify for free lunch receive a free family admission. The Saginaw Children's Zoo is constantly working to make the zoo universally accessible. This important goal can be seen in areas from the Forgotten Forest to the Goat Yard, as well as make the zoo easier to navigate so everyone can enjoy their days in a safe and inviting environment. In 2018, the Ibershoff Special got a major update and became fully accessible. As a champion for animals and children, we create extraordinary experiences for all, thanks to the continued support of its community, its volunteers, and zoo team members. The Saginaw Children's Zoo continues to strive to be the best little zoo in Michigan.